Good day, I'm Ben Seymour of Kudzu Patch Productions, and I have another instrument and another tune to bring you today. Uh, this is a brand new instrument, just came off the table. Uh, this one is a bit unusual. This is like a dulcimer epinet hybrid, and uh, by request. <laughs> and uh, anyhow, the top is made out of mulberry, uh, and it's a beautiful piece of mulberry, and then the back and sides are out of curly cherry. There are pictures of this up on our website, uh, I believe it's under other instruments uh, because it's not exactly a standard dulcimer and it's not a dulcimer antecedent either. Uh, but uh, anyhow, uh, what we've got here is five strings, an extra wide fretboard on this. Uh, and the first string is diatonic. The second and the third string here are chromatic. And then you've got two drones out beside that. Uh, the first three strings actually have a fretboard overlay of catalogs and then the drones are just sitting out there, you know, without any frets on them. So, uh, anyhow, it has an incredible amount of sustain, uh, and it just came off the table, so it hasn't even opened up its voice yet. But, uh, anyhow, uh, my wife had a great idea. She said, oh, I think that would be good for playing this particular song, and she was right. This is the Padstow Mayday song, uh, and it works well. This actually has two parts to the song. One part is real standard, kind of, uh, driving tune and then all of a sudden it stops right in the middle and it has this very lyrical melodic thing and then it goes back to the driving part again it's a great fun song anyhow the Padstow Mayday song Mayday song. Still ringing. It's an amazing, amazing thing. The uh, box is a little bit wider to accommodate this wide neck as well, and that probably has something to do with it. Uh, also, by request, uh, the person wanted some uh, <clears throat> little kind of like false nut kind of things uh, so you could change the tuning on the, on the strings. So I made some, kind of like what you might see on a Langelec, all the ones, although the ones on the Langelec are not movable. But, uh, so if you pop one here, 
under the drone string and then uh, you can pop one <clears throat> under the G string here all right which I made and you have to do a little bit of adjustment but because it stretches the strings And then you've got D, 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 D all the way across. I should have said this is tuned D, D, G, and then a lower D, just like D, G, D on a, on a dulcimer. And then you've got a low G, which is an octave lower. But uh, this way, they're all tuned to, to D, so... Plus, another little uh, nut here that you can slide under the D string and change the tuning on it as well. And get all sorts of strange combinations. capo type things here, you can change uh, uh, the tunings uh, in all sorts of strange and interesting ways and do all sorts of really cool stuff with it. So anyhow, uh, here it is, the Dulcimer Epinet Hybrid. And if you have any unusual and custom instruments that no one else wants to make, please feel free to uh, contact me uh, at www.kudzupatch.net because I'll try and make it for you. Uh, uh, anyhow, so, uh, and usually succeed. But uh, anyhow, so here it is, and uh, like I said, if you have any custom instruments uh, that you'd like built, uh, or standard instruments that you have, or if you have any repairs, feel free to contact me, and you can always find us at www.kudzupatch.net. Thanks a lot, hope you enjoyed that, and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.